Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and we'll continue our discussion on uh, the kingdom fungi. Alright, so today we're going to look as evidently on the board on the classification of fungi. Okay, so and um, of course, uh, do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam app. It is being currently displayed on your screen right now. It is all you need to succeed in your examination. Alright, so after this class, we are going to what, take some questions from what? From this small thing that's on the board. And of course, we are going to what? To answer them from the O3 Schools Jam app. This, the app has all the past questions you need for your exam. All right, it has some wonderful features designed to make you perform better in your exam. Okay, like you could take multiple mocks on the app, all right, by yourself. And also, you have what, what to call the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes and then take tests after studying those lecture notes according to the JAM syllabus. Wonderful. We have the question search feature where you can search for questions, all right, using topic. Okay, so you can use, you can go to the the question search feature, go to biology, then search for what fun guy. Any question that Java sets that has one guy in it, all right, will come out for you to answer. Wonderful, right? That means after you have studied a particular topic, you can what, go there, answer questions, and what, and kill them, all right? And also, that we have the UTME challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in Jam this year, all right? So you compete with your mates, you win prizes every week, every every week till one week to the main Jam exam, okay? So it's just like a form of mock. You are competing every day, so you are you'll be seeing your score every 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 week rather and of course you'll be seeing you'll be answering jam question getting used to add jam set that question and be building confidence towards the, towards the main exam okay wonderful features on the app and so many other wonderful features like the, the, the literature novels uh, uh life changer novel everything that you need okay every Thing that you need is on that app okay so please go to play store right now download it and then what make sure you activate after downloading as at the time of shooting this video activation is just three thousand naira. okay so please make sure what you download it and make sure you activate it okay the price you pay for success okay you guys know you, you have you must pay a price for success okay so please make sure you download and make sure you activate to activate just click on activate after downloading the app on the app once you open the app click on activate and after you click activate at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key so once you click on buy activation key you will see three options for payment so you can use any of the what any of the methods any of the option to what to pay this you can transfer to the o3 schools app account you can use your atm card to pay online that one is automatic it's automatic once you do that your app will be automatically activated or of course you will pay using Google Pay. That one requires that you have made a purchase from Google Play Store before. If you have not, you may not be able to use that option. Okay, so once you have made a payment to the O3 Schools app account, just send the receipt, the receipt of payment. If Even if you can go to POS and what and pay, just snap the receipt and send to this number, 091215152. 46 is the number on whatsapp just send this uh send the receipt to this number on whatsapp you'll be attended to just be patient a little bit you'll be attended to okay so please there's nothing like scam here make sure you get the app and start using it today so let's look at what is before us classification on for of fungi and we said kingdom fungi are classified based on different what modes okay we classify kingdom fungi based on what different what modes okay and one is based on the mode of nutrition okay how they obtain their what their food based on the mode of what of nutrition and second one is what based on the mode of what of spore formation okay how their how their spores are what are formed all right so these are the two uh, uh, classification of what of kingdom what fungi based on the mode of nutrition and based on spore formation In this class i'm going to look at uh, the classification based on the mode of what of nutrition okay so we say on the basis of nutrition kingdom fungi is classified into three groups we classify kingdom fungi into what three groups okay one is what saprophytes saprophytic then b or the second one is what parasitic and then the third one is what is symbiotic all right so now Let's look at the saprophytic. Like we say, fungi they do not have chlorophyll, so they cannot manufacture their own food, right? They, they they cannot carry out, they cannot perform photosynthesis. Okay, so they cannot manufacture their own food. So they are saprophytes. They feed on dead, decaying organic matter. Okay, so we say the fungi obtain their food by feeding on dead organic substances. Okay, by feeding on dead organic substances. And say examples are rhizopores. Example of subspecies are what are rhizopores. Okay, penicillium, 
all right you must take note of this and aspergillus okay so these are the species okay that what that feed on what example of species that feed on dead organic what substances okay so saprophytes okay themselves they are living organisms that what that feed on what on dead decaying organic or substances so that those are what what to call saprophytes so fungi they are what they are saprophytic okay they obtain their food by feeding on dead organic substances and examples of course are rhizopus penicillium and what and aspergillus okay so please take that into your into your medulla oblongata very easy right okay so now look at again uh the second uh the second basis okay that will classify them okay that's what parasitism okay so sub uh Kingdom fungi, they are what? They are parasitic. Okay, so they obtain their food, okay, or they obtain their nutrition by living on other living organisms like plants and animals. Okay, so to obtain what and absorb what nutrients from what from their host. Okay, so what whichever organism that what are living in, living on, okay, they obtain what nutrients from what from their world, from that what living what organisms, which we call what the host now. Okay, so they obtain their nutrition by living on other living organisms, plants and animals, and absorb nutrients from their hosts. They absorb nutrients from what from the from the organism that what that they are living on. E.g., example is what is tafrina and puccinia okay so these are the two examples here we have eg tafrina and what and puccinia they are parasitic okay they obtain their food by living on other living organisms such as plants or what and animals and absorb nutrients from what from their host very very easy example is tafrina and puccinia okay so now the third one is what is symbiotic. That is what the third basis of what of classification of what the kingdom of fungi. Okay, so we say what um, uh, classification of kingdom fungi based on what on mode of nutrition. Okay, so do not forget. So we have what third one, which was symbiotic. So they live by having an interdependent relationship with each other, uh, with other what species in which both are mutually benefited. Like if we say interdependent relationship, that means what? Uh, between those two organisms, okay, let's say between a man and a woman, okay, you know that was before a man says you want to marry a woman, possibly the most have what done what courtship, okay? So like, like for, for a proper what marriage to occur, at least you must have courted what your your wife as a man, okay? So that means that what? You have respected the values. You've respected the value and recognized the importance of what? Of the relationship. Both of you have understood each other, okay? So that what? You both will benefit from it in the long run. So that you do not have issues in the long run, okay? So that's what's called interdependent relationship. You value and recognize the purpose of your relationship, okay? So symbiotic they live by having an interdependent relationship with each other with other with other species in which both of them are mutually what benefiting okay that means the both organisms what will benefit from what from the relationship they will benefit from the relationship okay and um, examples are lichens and mycorrhiza lichens and what and mycorrhiza lichens that's l i C H E N S and then what mycorrhiza. Okay, so lichens is not just an organism. Lichens is a symbiotic association. It's a symbiotic what association. All right, lichens are the symbiotic association between algae and fungi. Between what algae and what and fungi. So between algae and fungi, they say what they say. There's an interdependent what relationship. Okay, so lichens is the name of that association. Okay, lichens is a symbiotic association between what algae and what and fungi. Okay, so yeah, the algae and fungi are what mutually benefiting. They benefit from the relationship. The algae and the fungi they benefit from what from the relationship. Okay, now. As fungi provides shelter for algae, in reverse, algae synthesizes carbohydrates for what? For fungi. All right? So, uh, fungi provides shelter for what? For the algae. Okay? You can see the, what, what one is doing for the other. Okay? So, fungi will provide what? Shelter for the algae. While what the algae synthesizes what? Uh, carbohydrates for what? For the fungi. Because fungi cannot what, actually what? Uh, cannot what? Provide its own food. So, the... Uh, the algae helps the fungi to what uh, to synthesize what food while the fungi helps what the algae for what for shelter okay so it shelters the algae while the algae uh, while the 
why they are getting in return, in return, okay, providing value, okay, synthesizes what carbohydrates for the world for the fungi. Right, so that is what an example of of a symbiotic what relationship. So we also have the other one, which is what I'm taking this off now, which is what the uh, mycorrhiza. Okay, so we have seen two relationship. Please denote in case you want to have it. Take it back and what and and of course uh, copy the notes. Okay, so we, have, we said two examples are lichens, which is between what algae and fungi. Okay, and they will say what fungi it shelters the algae. Okay, why what of course why would the algae is in turn synthesizes okay carbohydrates for the fungi okay so that is that for that this is symbi liking is the word is the symbiotic association between algae and fungi okay so liking is just not one organism all right so fungi shatters the algae algae synthesizes carbohydrate for the world for the fungi now we also have what mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is an example here right so micro okay mycorrhiza all right, so for the mycorrhiza is a what is a symbiotic association between fungi and roots of plants. Okay, but uh, uh, symbiotic association between what uh, fungi and what and plants. Okay, so this mycorrhiza is the name of the symbiotic association between fungi and what and plants. Okay, already we know that fungi does not have chlorophyll; it cannot manufacture its own food. Okay, so plants will help in what in what in feeding what the what the fungi. Why fungi will help in what in breaking down complex organic matter. All right, that are not taking up for the plant for various metabolic activities. All right, so that will not be what the name of their their, their own what value they are giving to each other. Okay, so why fungi? We break down, breaking down of complex organic matter, okay, into simpler substances, okay, taken up by roots of plants. For several metabolic activities. Okay, so that's what the fungi does for the root of plants. Okay, so it breaks down what complex what organic matter into simpler substances that are not taken up by the root of plant for several what into their body for several metabolic what activities. Why on the other hand, remember mycorrhiza is a relationship, is a symbiotic relationship between fungi and plants. Now what do the plants now what do for the fungus okay so now for the plants now okay now provide organic molecules molecules for the fungi okay so it did not provide what organic what molecules for the what for the fungi so you can see that what it's a relationship. Symbiosis is a relationship in which what both organisms are what are benefiting. Okay, both organisms are what are benefiting from what from the, they are mutually what benefiting from the relationship. Okay, it's not parasitic. Or it's not parasitic. In parasitism, one is benefiting, the other is not what benefiting. Okay, but for symbiosis or for symbiotic relationship, which we are looking at right now, is both organisms what would benefit from it. So that's how we say lichens. Examples are lichens and mycorrhiza. We say lichens. Symbiotic relationship between algae and fungi, and then mycorrhiza, symbiotic relationship between fungi and plants. So please do not forget what them. Do not forget them for any reason. Now we're going to jump on the old school jump app, and then we're going to what take question. Please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong. Click on that like button because liking the button, uh, liking the video will make other students easily find this video and learn. 
Also, if you have not subscribed, subscription is free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this video. If you have done that before, it is okay. But if you have not done that, please click on that subscribe button now. And please do not forget to share this video. Share, share, share. Keep sharing so that others will, will join and learn. You have friends, you have loved ones who are writing this exam. Share this channel to them and make sure what they are, what they are also learning. So let's go to the O3 School Jump app. I'm launching my app right now. The question will be what will be displayed on the board anyway. So now... This is a 2023 question number one. Uh, they say, what is symbiosis? Okay, just what I looked at just now. So <laughs> they set questions on everything. Okay, so you, you must know what you are doing. All right now, they say, what is symbiosis? A, they say, relationship between two organisms where both benefit. Okay, that is only the answer. Okay, relationship between what two organisms where what both of them what are benefiting from what from the relationship. Okay, it is not parasitic. Okay, now B they say relationship between two organisms where one benefits and the other is unaffected. That is not it. There's a C relationship between two organisms where one benefits and the other is arm. That is parasitic. Then D, they say a relationship between two organisms where one organism lives inside the body of the what of the other. All right, which is not also what it's okay. So that means the right answer there is what is option A, relationship between two organisms where both of them benefit. Okay, so now let's take another question. It's a 2019 question, uh, number eight. Say so the type of nutrition, the type of nutrition in which two organisms of different species, two organisms of different species live together and derive nutrients from each other. They live together and derive nutrients from what? From each other is what? A, they say symbiotic nutrition. Okay, see the other form that they will answer that question will answer the first time. So when people say, does jam repeat class question? Yes, they do. Okay, they do. Sometimes they may repeat the question exactly as they have said it before. In other times, they may just rephrase the question to test your understanding. So if you have understood our jam set, set question, if you can take have this app, answer and practice a lot of questions, you will understand how Jam said this question. So it will not be easy for you to be able to answer what those questions. So you must practice. You must practice. You must practice. You must practice. So you cannot play with what practicing what question. Just keep practicing. The more you practice, the more you build your confidence. Because imagine you are answering questions and you are getting all of them. You see, beauty is beautiful. It will be sweet in your belly. So please make sure what you get this application right now. Make sure you start with practicing. So they say the type of nutrition in which two organisms of different species live together and derive nutrients for each other is. A, they say symbiotic nutrition. B, they say saprophytic nutrition. C, they say holozoic nutrition. D, they say holophytic nutrition. And of correct, the correct answer there is what is symbiotic what nutrition because both organisms, both organisms are what are benefiting. They're benefiting. Okay. Now they were taking another question. There is 2006 question number 47. Okay. A 2006 question number 47. All right, so and then we are say, we are, are giving a diagram. So we should say we should use this diagram to answer the question that what that follow. All right, so they say the importance. The question is even displayed on your screen right now. They say the importance of the association to the fungus is that it obtains. Okay, so this is a relationship between the fungus and the what and the algae. Okay, so now they said the importance of the association of the fungus is that it obtains. Say a. A partner for reproduction. So they have been tested, they are testing us on what? On lichens, all right? Between fungi and what? And algae, okay? So they say the importance of the association of fungus is that it obtains, they say A, a partner for reproduction, which is wrong. They say B, anchorage from the algae, which is also very wrong, okay? Then they say C, Oxygen and carbohydrate from the world, from the algae. Already you know that what that fungi do not have a chlorophyll, they cannot manufacture their food. So the algae synthesizes what carbohydrate and what, uh, and then they obtain what carbohydrate and oxygen for the world, for the fungi. Okay, so the fungi would benefit by what? Getting what synthesis of carbohydrate from the algae and also what? Uh, getting what oxygen from them. Then they say D, water and mineral salts from the algae. So the correct option there would be oxygen and carbohydrate from the algae. So this app has thousands of questions on it so please make sure you get the app today download it make sure you what you activate with just three thousand naira and start practicing your way to success all right my name is master t and i'll see you in the next class we'll continue our discussion on the what on the what on the kingdom fungi okay but in this case we'll look at what the classification based on spore formation thank you and god bless you